thanks to all sorts of cloud cover today. Temperatures struggled to warm on up. They were milder than earlier this week, but we were still below freezing. And you can see on satellite and radar still under that thick cloud cover as of right now. Should see clear conditions later on this evening. High temperatures as a result didn't get back to 30 degrees for many locations. Uh, as you work your way westward, however, some spots closer to the Mississippi River did manage to get into the 30s, if not right near freezing. Likely for the first time since early this week, Monday was about the last time that we saw temperatures anywhere near the 30s across the state line. Again, falling just short by a couple degrees earlier on this afternoon. Haven't cooled off much since then. Middle to upper 20s right now we will stay here throughout the majority of this evening. Still looking at plenty of cloud cover overhead on our downtown camera, and that's likely not to change until we get to uh, later on this evening. 27 degrees currently northwest wind at 7 miles per hour. That has dropped the wind chill down to 19. And it's still warmer than where we were earlier on this week. By the time we get past 7 o'clock, we should have that cloud cover break up. We then are looking at clear conditions overnight, and some sunshine is going to help us out tomorrow warm those temperatures up a little quicker and hopefully melt some of that snow and ice off of the roads as well. Temperatures tonight as a result of the clear conditions down into the teens again. So without that insulating effect of the cloud cover overnight, uh, we won't retain much for heat to any little heat that we do have. So temperatures do drop off rather rapidly under these clear conditions. Of course, we see this a lot during the winter. 16 degrees for the overnight low light winds, though, thankfully, so wind chill values uh, won't be too harsh going into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, with a little sunshine helping out, we should be back above freezing with a high of 34 degrees, uh, all thanks to, again, that additional sun as well as some milder air working in. And I'll remark the first time since 1 o'clock Monday that will be at least into the 30s, if not above freezing. Right at that time, Monday morning was the last time we were at or above freezing. Should have that streak end by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. As we look at the overall picture, the weather doesn't warm up too quickly, but it is an improvement over earlier on this week. So we will be looking at temperatures in the middle 30s tomorrow afternoon, then jumping to near 40 degrees into the weekend. You can still see, though, that cooler air lingering around the Midwest. We don't fully tap into that milder air that's hanging off to our southwest. Uh, but again, at least it's an improvement over where we've been lately. Even with another wave of cooler air working in, it should be just mild enough to bring us back up into the 40s. 40s by early next week and we'll continue to trend in that direction throughout much of next week as well. We do have some wet weather to talk about. However, the storm system for Sunday is still well out over the Pacific, but it'll journey through the jet stream over the next couple days and approach our area as we get into late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Mild enough that we could see a rain snow mix. Here we are Sunday morning waiting for the showers to arrive and we could have a brief mixture of rain and snow early on uh, Sunday morning into early Sunday afternoon. Not expecting things to be too icy, however, as temperatures continue to warm on up and much of Sunday afternoon will be spent with drizzly weather. Sunday evening we could see a return of a rain snow mix. Minimal accumulations here, uh, but still looking at uh, some wet weather throughout much of Sunday itself. So light snow possible starting late Saturday night. Watch out for slick spots into Sunday morning just in case. But as the weather continues to warm on up, we should just have drizzly rain showers throughout much of Sunday afternoon. That'll help get rid of the ice, help get rid of uh, the uh, wet or the snowy conditions across a lot of the state lines. So look for temperatures to be warm enough to not look too icy by the time we get to late Sunday. Next week, back close to average in the low 40s, warm enough that we could see some rain showers coming up next Thursday. James and Kristen. That's a change of pace. Thanks, Alex. Rockford,